Hey docs, uh, Dr. Holly here. Happy Five Minute Friday. I'm coming to you today in a little bit of a different format. If you've been here for a while, you know that I usually have my presentation ready to go for you, but today I'm actually wanted to share with you a resource um, directly from Mike Michalowicz, who is the prophet, um, the author of Prophet First. Um, and this is in response to conversations about a pending recession. Um, I know inflation is on everyone's minds these days. You know, it seems like every time I log into Facebook, somebody's either complaining about gas prices, um, <laughs> you know, or just talking about their grocery bill, right? So, or they went and saw Top Gun Maverick. So, um, you know, what I want to do today is just share with you this resource. This is a one pager. I'm going to link it in my email newsletter. Um, and just thinking about what can you control right now? If you are a business owner, you are 100% in control of your personal personal response to the things that are going on um, around you that may seem very out of control, right? So it's just, you know, you really have to put that CEO hat back on. You really have to make some strategic decisions. And here's a resource of how you may sort of look at the different categories of things that you need to be looking at. Okay, so I'm going to start with actually down at the bottom, the easiest one, because um, I have these conversations every day. Now, of course, I am, uh, you know, not here to give you legal or tax advice or financial planning advice. I'm here um, as a chiropractor myself with experience in managing a business, managing your cash flow, et cetera. So I'm giving you managerial level or coaching level advice, okay? When we're talking about cash flow, um, saving for taxes, this is just number one easiest thing to do. Um, now in Profit First, you know, you do open up certain bank accounts, you open up extra savings accounts um, at your bank to save for specific things. And tax is just like the easiest no brainer one that is to open. OK, you open it, you label it as tax. You say, hey, I'm putting whatever percentage you need to go back and you need to figure out your calculations. If you need help, I can help with that. Um, I did a profit assessment just yesterday and this person had um, federal income tax, state income tax, and a city income tax on where they were located. So it actually turned out that their percentage needed to be at least 19%. Okay. Just rounded that up to 20 and said, here's what we need. Okay. Because we know, you know, if your business has been quote profitable and you have a tax liability, um, you are going to most likely have a setup of, of estimated tax payments you need to make throughout the year. You know, they're due this month, right? They're due, you know, once a quarter for you to pay in so you don't have such a large bill when it comes to the time you actually do your taxes. So if you had you or your CPA had to file for an extension this year, you still need to be saving for estimated tax payments because they're inevitably going to come around. Okay. And you do not want a $10,000 bill to land in your lap when you only get $15,000 in your main checking account. Okay. So I can go on and on about examples of this, but make sure you are still setting money aside. Even if you're in an extension, even if you've never owed taxes before, I always say minimum is 5% of every dollar that you collect, just pop it over into that savings account. Okay. So Looking at the bigger things, recession, prices are going up, right? Inflation is out there. That's a thing. Um, under cash flow here, he's got some, you know, examples. Cancel your no or your low benefit subscriptions. If you have been paying something for years and years and years and you don't even log into it anymore, why are you still paying for it? Okay. Just turn those things off. Really take a critical eye at what is absolutely necessary for you to generate money in your business right now. And if you don't need it, you don't need it. That's a business decision. Okay. It's not, it's not emotional. It's not personal. It's just business. Okay. Look at the things that you could possibly renegotiate, okay? Interest rates have been climbing, okay? Probably not a great time to take out a new loan, but if you already have something at a higher interest rate and it's never really bothered you before because the monthly payment is so low, maybe you need to look at, is this an advantageous time to bring some interest rate down to maybe um, push that term out a little bit longer? Or can you be paying extra on your principal to set you up in a better position, you know, say a year from now? Um, you know, proactively, where um, can you start to both increase your revenue and reduce your expenses? And this question comes up a lot in chiropractic communities about um, introducing new payment options for your patients, whether it's, you know, getting something like a career credit, care credit credit card. I've never used those before. Um, or just looking at your credit card vendor, et cetera. I really like to stick with integrity on these types of things. So I have preferred vendors that I use for these and it, it's just a cost of doing business. I would not get petty over a 15 to 95 cent fee um, to pass it along to your patients in a lot of jurisdictions. That's not legal anyway. Um, but you know, make it advantageous for your patients, make it clear and abundant that you do still accept rocket 
cash and that you do still accept checks if they want to do that. Um, of course, my time is already up because I could talk about this stuff all day. Um, if you are in a scenario where it's become um, glaringly obvious to you that you need to raise your prices, again, that is a business decision. It is not personal. Most of the time, patients will not bat an eye. Um, they will say, you know, I thought you should have done this two years ago. Um, or they'll tell you it's about time. You deserve it. Um, I hear these stories all the time. Okay. If you are nervous about it, okay, you can fall back on whatever is legally required for you to do so. In a lot of places, it's, you know, 30 days, just post a sign. Here's what it is. Notify your patients. You don't have to go above and beyond to notify them. It could be as simple as a, a sign at your front desk. You could send out an all patient email if you really needed to. We wouldn't call too much attention to it because at the end of the day, it's your business. You know, Walmart doesn't, you know, send you a notice when they're going to start upcharging for whatever they sell, you know, in their business, right? If you really want to give your patients an opportunity, and again, it is legal in your jurisdiction for people to pre-purchase things, something like that, you could offer that, but I really don't want you to get caught up in that discount mindset and that you're trying to make a deal with patients, okay? You have a business of integrity, you lead with integrity, um, and it's ultimately your decision to do that. Do what you have to do, okay? I'm going to show the link to this. Obviously, I'm not here to read this all in five minutes, but um, I hope this is helpful for you. If you need somebody in your back pocket to help you sort of unpeel the layers of the numbers onion, okay, I am here, um, you know, booking strategy sessions primarily. I work with clients on Mondays and Fridays. So if either of those seems uh, good to you, then reach out and we can get you on my schedule. Have a good weekend, everybody.